Today we will make an anemometer and for this project all the requirements are a stapler, a scissor, push pin, compass, pencil, paper cutter, two strips of cartoon box uh, cut into long shapes, the size of a scale and then a scale we need, we need a gum, we need an empty bottle with some stones inside and then lastly we need four pieces of A4 paper for making the cups. First of all, take one A4 paper to make a cups. Okay, what you will do is measure the one the, the section that is smaller. Okay, if you measure, you will find it is a 20, 21 centimeter long, and then taking this 21 centimeter measure and cut into perfect square. So here is a 25 centimeter or 21 centimeter long. So I mark it here 21 centimeter long and then I fold it in this way. I fold it here in the mark. I fold it in the mark. And with the help of a paper cutter, I will cut this section. So I have cut this section. Now all that all the sides are equal. 21 centimeter, 21 centimeter, 21 centimeter, and 21 centimeter. Now you will fold it once. You will fold it once like this in the middle. And again in the quarterly, you will fold it. Same in the opposite direct opposite side. Same in the opposite side and then horizontal in this way after folding again quarterly and one more the opposite side and then now you will have four different lines right so here again one more fold here in the middle one more here one more here and one more here so we'll do right now so one more fold will be done here again here so again now here and here okay okay here and now lastly here so now my foldings are done so what you will do you will cut one section this one throw the paper cutter or a scissor okay you will cut it here nicely So you have cut it and now you have to cut in this way this one also you cut by the lines the folding lines In this folding lines you will cut and one section you will cut and throw it 
only one section you have to cut and throw it okay now done with one teeth is missing right so this is halfway done now what you will do take this end the one end that which is not cut okay and take the gum the reason for me using the baby call instead of this paper gum is this takes lots of time and it is uh, it has less power but this paper gum have more power so I am using a paper gum baby call this one, okay so I'll put some baby call here don't put it too much it will be messy now taking this inside see inside I will put it perfectly and it will fit perfectly so it fitted perfectly now I'll press it so that it sticks well so now it sticks well so now here this you will put some gum here and you will stick one after another like this okay and then again put some gum stick again put some gum stick put it put the gum then stick put the gum stick it then the last one will be put the gum little more then stick it so our beautiful paper cup is now done homemade paper cup so I have ready made so these are the paper cups that I have made already total have four cups we need if you cannot make these paper cups you can also buy from the market the ready made paper cups one and you use directly that one now we need two flanks like this made up of a paper cardboard and make sure you wrap some paper here so that it looks like this I wrap white paper already and then after wrapping it with the help of scale measure the midpoint okay measure the midpoint and then place one after another like this and stick and put some gum here and then stick it in this way so that it look like this okay it looks like this like a helicopter now this is ready my paper cups are also ready so now let's begin the next step the next step you will do is take this four paper cup and take one paper cup and then with the help of staple you will staple it on the wings okay with the help of this one you will staple all the you will staple like this okay so I have taken one so with the help of stapler I will staple it now one cup stapled now another cup second cup also stapled now third cup third cup also stapled and then the last cup so last cup will also be 
last cup will also be stapled. So done. I have stapled all the four cups in this way. And now the only thing to do is take your bottle along with some stones inside to make it heavy. Okay, and open the cap with the help of the compass pinch one hole on the cap right here you pinch it after that if you're done with the hole take one push pin push pin means what a knot is there at the top so that it helps to push okay now only thing is left is do this now only thing that is left to do is take your wings put it at the put it at the top and then apply the now only thing that is left is take your wings with the help of a pin and you have to pinch one hole here also pinch it all the way through and then stick it onto your bottle nicely so now your anemometer is ready and using a piece of paper you write your name class and project name and stick it and label it in your bottle okay students